All right, it's 4.57 and we are at the Peralta Trailhead. The Intrepid group, we're gonna summit Weaver's Needle today. How do you feel about that, Mr. Johnson? Mr. Dixon, I'm feeling very confident that we will be standing atop the summit in just a matter of hours. Crosswhite, how do you feel about that? I concur. He concurs, we will conquer. It's sunrise and we're starting out on our trail. Our hike here to uh, climb Weaver's Needle. Oh. Oh, Taking some video. Catching some BD. <laughs> That's the goal today, Weaver's Needle. Still have some hiking to do till we get there. That's a big piece of rock right there. It is a big piece of rock. And that's the seam that we're going up right there. That is where we are headed. All right, so we've, what time is it? 7.16. So we've been at it a little two over two hours. Two hours and five minutes. What's your prediction for when we get to the top there? <sighs> two hours and five minutes. I'm going to guess 9.30-ish. All right. That sounds about right. To just, But just to be uh, contrary, I'll go 10. No. <laughs> How contrary of you. Yeah. Mary, Mary. I'm hoping right. I get up and down by noon. We're following Troy's scent up for the, uh, <laughs> up the peak. <laughs> How are you feeling? Hey, thumbs eat. up. I could eat. Got a little patch of shade. I got some, we got some bugs that found us out. We smell good. Yeah. Smell like Miami Beach. And Hasselhoff. <laughs> that's that definitely a, taking a big risk, dude. That's the class that, four section. I think that's more than class four, at least how I define class four. Class five is all hands on. And you're going to need all hands on on this. I would estimate that this is. Five six five seven. This little really? roof right here. It's not. I don't think it's too hard, but it's, it's exposed. So we can just see how it goes, I guess. You wanna go? I like this more. There's just and from what it looks like, it's nice and soft. You're gonna. I might just. I might just sit here and let you. Uh, <laughs> Let's just see how this goes. Holler at me. <laughs> you got up it. in there where I was like, hmm, I there. just stop and think. Yeah. And it's just a matter of being able to spot the foot on your way down. That's the hard part. That's a good strong cable. 550. So we believe the hard part is over. Still got some climbing to do. Yeah, we do. So there's Troy down there in the beginning of the second pitch. And uh, we fixed a rope on the first pitch. Troy had a little lightweight paracable, paracord. And uh, this pitch is steep, but is really easy. And so it's okay. on the east approach to Weaver's Needle. Um, we're just under the second pitch and uh, Matt Johnson is trying to string up some extra webbing 
just to give us a little extra stuff to hang on to. So I'm tucked back in here enjoying the view. It's quite nice. I tell you what, this is no joke. We are way up high. Where are you at, sir? Come on over. Yeah. Oh. This is where you'll find me. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So this is the uh, west this access. This is the saddle between the two, yeah. the two peaks here. <sighs> Nicely done, man. That should be the work of it. That. I mean, they're scrambling. Yeah, this, all, this all looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. That doesn't look scary. So we've got the scary sections roped. And, um, and so I expect our chances of survival are good at this point. Climbing up for the saddle. So far, so good. This is crazy, but good. Well, we are up here, really just on top of a yawning abyss. And uh, we're not at the summit yet. Summit is still up there. We are still on our way up. That's the South Peak. So we're not too far. But we are definitely up there. Still have a ways to go. Weaver's Needle. Oh. Not for those afraid of heights. Here's the Wookiee. Coming up over the top. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm standing on the top of Weaver's Needle. Mr. Dixon, you're standing on the top of Weaver's Needle. Mr. Johnson, I dare say we're on top of Weaver's Needle. Oh my God. There's a little, uh... This is a surreal moment. So here's the view from the top. See, that's Canyon Lake, way in the distance. Still can't believe I'm standing on top of Weaver's Needle. This is absolutely crazy. Oh, challenging climb on the way up, but at no point was I fearful for my life. That's why we kept going. A little bit of a ridge run. Wow. Yeah, don't step down. the new Camelback. Not really, this thing's crazy. A lot of cliffs everywhere. Wow. It's not a whole lot of real estate up here. And I don't intend to go checking out the edges too enthusiastically. Mr. Johnson, atop the needle. <laughs> Let's hear your barbaric yelp. Yeah! At least that wasn't on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here uh, at our little summit camp, just looking out over uh, the mountains. I gotta charge my phone. Woo! We're gonna eat. Really gotta eat. All right, we've had a good rest and we are leaving the peak of Weaver's Needle. I'm gonna stop by these little, these are apparently the campsites. A little windbreak, a little flat ground, a little rock wall to shield you from the elements a little bit. Have to come back here sometime with more gear and spend the night. making our way down one of the uh, more comfortable sections.
here we are again at the saddle on our way down yes feeling good not quite down safe and sound but feeling good feeling good down one pitch two more to go of actual climbing and then it's just real steep scrambling from there steep scrambling i look forward to the steep scrambling yeah you know this doesn't look all that bad here actually you know it looks like you you can kind of walk your way on, on up to just this little pitch here mm. yeah so i'm sitting up here on this ledge troy's kind of up there out of sight oh, big uh, big bee and uh he's taking all those knots out of that yellow shock cable he's gonna use it to climb down to this point then I'm gonna cut open one of my plastic bottles and use it as a protector, as a sheath around that cable and put it behind this horn of rock right here. Sling that rope down to get us the final 50, 60 feet down to the deck there. That was pretty insane. Like the double hat move <laughs> I've got going on right now? Yeah. That's good. That's fine. Up and down. And now just a four mile, five mile hike back to the car, huh? What do you think? Four? Four. So we made it, we're back down safe and sound. Now we just have to uh, you know, make our way through this beautiful terrain. And a breezy, some might say chilly 90 degrees, probably more like 95. Well, Mr. Johnson's getting ahead of us.